What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Box Monday. Yes, we're starting the week off with a full box this week. Oh, how cool is this when you see it overflowing out of the box. That is so cool. Uh, plus I've got two other items off to the side here, which, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. One of them's really awesome, but the other one, I don't know why I picked it up. I just thought it was just awesome to finally see something like that. So uh, we'll get to that at the end of the episode, or you can always skip to the end have a look at it and then come back and we'll get into these up to you. Uh, anyway, how is everybody this week? I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, I was doing pretty well. I found a whole bunch of new stuff here. So there's a couple of Matchbox cars in there and a whole bunch of Hot Wheels cars. So um, yeah, we'll just start with this one here. I couldn't recall if I picked this one here up. Uh, this is just a recolor of the tuned version of the classic TV series Batmobile. This is with the red and orange color combination. Pretty cool, huge OH5 wheels with that, uh, there's that metallic orange, kind of chrome orange trim. Very nice looking car. It's got all the regular same details as the larger scale version, or the regular scale version, I guess. Let's reach off to the side to grab this. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of, uh, a pretty pretty cool looking little version of it I have to say so yeah <laughs> yeah not too bad a bright orange window on there but it does have all of those exact same details it's just been squashed together and the cool card art as well how awesome uh, you can also see up the back here you're probably noticing there there's a whole bunch of JDM cars up the back yes well that's because next week I'm going to put all of the JDM cars in for the display case. Uh, these are the ones we did last week. And I realized that I had quite a few JDM cars, so there could be enough to fill up the entire case just with some uh, JDM stuff. So yeah, uh, I, won't, I won't do an episode of just doing that. Um, they'll just be in the display case for the show. Pop that down there somehow. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just... As I was packing up the other day, last week, um, noticed that I had quite a few, so I thought, why not? And uh, next up from the Rally Champ series is the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro, now in a light blue color. Exactly the same livery as what it's been uh, for all of the releases, I think. I'm pretty sure that they're all the same um, actual tampo scheme for all of them. Uh, no rear light details but it does have the side it's got the white 10 spokes and it does have the front detailing there so that is pretty cool it also has a little vent on the side there too a little bonnet vent yeah it's pretty cool looking casting a nice card art for that one also uh yeah all right let's go for this one yes the 1971 lamborghini mura sv now in metallic blue and the uh gray two-tone effect there on the front you can see as that gray insert for the front grille headlights Lamborghini badge vents on the bonnet very nice it's got the louvers over the back window and it has all of the rear details there and that what that's what makes this car so so nice it also has a side tempo so yeah not too bad headlights little side tempo and the rear, very, very good job on this casting, I have to say. And pretty cool card up for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into this one. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This is the Dragon Wagon. Um, oh, actually, come to think of it, this is a, uh, a 2023, possibly a case car. Huh, there you go. I'll just uh, grab this one back. I'll show you the difference. See how this one has the blue corner piece, the dark blue? This one now has a light blue. So yeah, other than that, they both look pretty similar in, in our card design. But yeah, if you're wondering if it's a newer card, there you go, that's how you know it. Pretty cool. Anyway, Dragon Wagon from the Experimotors series. <laughs> I did pick up two of these just because I thought it was just pretty cool. Uh, it's got a little, it's like a little red wagon uh, with the handle there, which you normally would drag it along with, but uh, they are known for 
uh, being ridden in by, by kids and such like that, kind of like a soapbox racer style vehicle. And uh, this one here is pretty cool. It's been done up to actually race proper steering wheel. It's got skinny wheels on the front and some bigger wheels on the back. It's got a huge racing wing on there with a number one. Uh, that is pretty awesome. It's got a little split through there as well. That's really cool. And on the back, it's got this big, huge, uh, is that exhaust pipes? Uh, possibly exhaust pipes poking out to the side there and the engine in the in the back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a metal base with a plastic top body piece and this is metal also, this handlebar piece. So pretty cool design. <laughs> hot wheels on one side. Oh, it's got hot wheels on both sides. So yeah, same tempo on both sides. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I do like that. Uh, next up, we have from the Art Car series, is the 70s van. Um, is this a Chevy or a GMC van? I'm not entirely sure. Um, it did have an actual, uh, like, Chevy or something like that before. Yeah, it's just, it's just called the 70s van now, so I'm not entirely sure, but it does look like a real vehicle, maybe Dodge van, Chevy van, GMC van, possibly. Uh, if anybody knows the original, please put it in the comments below so we can all know. Uh, this one has all your Mattel uh, Hot Wheels, eight cars, and a uh, <laughs> whole bunch of extra letters. There's kind of like a, uh, a find a word style design. That's pretty awesome. Same as on the top there, has the art cars there, and uh, Hot Wheels there. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to try and find a second one of these so we can open it up and see what's on the other side. I assume it's going to be something like this same style of tampo, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's actually on there. Next up, we have from the Surf's Up series, the Surf and School Bus. And being an Australian, this one is one which we are all 100% going to be picking up because as you can see on the front there, or on the side of it, I should say, it says Gold Coast Australia. Very, very nice. Uh, Two-tone colour, yellow and brown, with a look, kind of like a wooden style trim. On the back here, it says Palm Beach, and in Sydney, Palm Beach in Sydney is actually where they filmed that absolutely terrible Australian TV series, Home and Away. So if you ever come to Australia and you want to visit the Home and Away uh, beach area where they film at, uh, that's what it's called, Palm Beach. Um, the area is pretty nice, nothing spectacular, but it's, yeah, it's pretty nice along the beach there. Uh, there's the front there. Uh, this is a top piece is metal, and this piece is plastic. And this piece is, the base is also plastic. Uh, has the engine sticking out of the side there and out of the back. It's got six surfboards stacked up in the back. It's a really cool casting, I do quite like it. Uh, I do have about uh, three or four possibly different versions of this casting. And uh, this one has to be my favorite now just because of the uh, Australia part on there. So I'm gonna probably pick up a whole bunch of these, I think. Yeah, yeah, I might, I might pick up a couple more of those and keep those aside to give away as gifts, like little Australia gifts in the future. <laughs> I reckon it'll be pretty cool. Now I'm going to get into a Matchbox car. Yes, we have the new color version of the Subaru SVX. And you, re you might remember uh, when we opened the red one of these, it actually had a Tesla uh, Model X or something in there, a red Tesla in there. So um, give, um, uh, give me one second. Got to pull out the, uh, the Matchbox box and uh, if it's, if it's handy, I'll pick it up. No, it's not going to be handy. Nope, not going to worry about that. I was going to try and pick up the box, which actually had the car in it. Uh, yeah, it had a Tesla in it. And uh, now I don't, have a, <laughs> I don't have a red version of this in the box. Uh, so I have to find the original red version of this once again to actually get one. Uh, because yeah, it came with a Tesla. Uh, the box is there, box is cool. I like the boxes. They are the best way to collect a matchbox, if you ask me. 
paper wrapping is absolutely awesome, much better than the plastic paper, uh, plastic packaging that they used to have. Well, this is a nice metallic black, that. Nice gold wheels. And you can see inside the interior there. It's a very, very dark window, but yeah, you can kind of see into there. Uh, it is left-hand drive. Uh, no headlight details. You get indicators on the side there, which is pretty awesome. It comes with a sunroof as well. Has a wing on the back, and the lights around the rear are absolutely perfect. SVX on the license plate. Yes, the rear of that looks really, really cool. Uh, two ex twin exit exhaust or dual exhaust, whatever you call it. Very, very nice looking car. Uh, this whole top piece is just a plastic window, but it's very dark, so you can't really tell. Yeah, very, very cool. Next up, we will go for Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. Absolutely awesome. There was a stack of these on the shelf. Like, there were so many of these. Um, obviously, people did not like this or didn't care about this, so I picked up two of them. Uh, so we can open one. I don't know who they are exactly. I can only assume that they're uh, drag racers from the drag racing scene in America. But this is a really, really cool looking car. It's like a pro mod uh, uh, Thunderbird. Has lensed headlights in there. That's so cool. Has the badge on the front there. Big, huge bonnet scoop there. Has the gray two-tone going around the bottom half of that with the bumpers and the side skirts. Five spoke wheels. How cool is that tempo design as well? Very 80s. And the color, that pearl pink color is just beautiful. Chrome interior. Very cool racing seats. Very nice. On the back we have a really cool chrome uh, ducktail spoiler or rear wing. You see the lights have been chromed out on the back there. You get a parachute and exhausts out the back. That is so nice. Very nicely done. Uh, same tempo on this side. Looking really, really cool. I have to say that is really, really nicely done. Yeah. I don't know why nobody else was picking them up. I think that looks really, really cool. Yep. Definitely a very, very nice one. All right, let's go. Let's see what we've got next. Oh, now we've got the, uh, the blue version. Uh, this is also a 2023 car. Uh, was that other one? No, the other one was a 2022 car. The Debbie Hayes, Matt and Debbie Hayes car was 2022, whereas this is a 2023 car. There we go. Uh, this is the new color version of the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. This was the Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner. Uh, this is on the Hot Wheels Modified series. Uh, we no longer get any headlight details there. We get the chrome engine with all that bar work there. You get a simple stripe, a couple of simple stripes on the top, a 70 full chrome racing interior. That's pretty cool too. And five spoke wheels, a little bit of a racing style tamp on there with the uh, stripes and the number, racing sponsors. And we no longer get the rear uh, light and license plate details. So it's a little bit unfortunate that they've taken away those extra details, but it's still a really, really, really cool casting. I really do like this, and I do like the Firebird in general. Like, the original car that this is based off is actually up there with one of my favorite looking cars, uh, American muscle cars that there is. I reckon that the Firebird's one of the most awesome looking cars. <laughs> Next up, we found the Coupe Clip. Yes, this is the black and gold version. There was a silver one, like just a plain Zamac silver metal finish. Then there was a red, shiny red version, which I could only find one of. So bummed I couldn't find any more because I really wanted to use one of the red ones. Uh, and now we found one of the black and gold ones. So these are actually quite popular. Uh, they seem to disappear quite quickly. 
I like the design on the front there. It really gives this kind of like a uh, Datsun 240s style feel. The old school Datsuns or, or a very old uh, Nissan Fair Lady, like the Datsun Fair Lady. But yeah, really, really awesome. I love this casting. Just being able to have a Hot Wheels <laughs> as a uh, as a keyring is really, really awesome. I'd like them to do kind of like a more licensed version kind of car. So if they did a Lamborghini Mura as the design in this full metal uh, thing, <laughs> I reckon that'd look absolutely awesome. Next up, we will go for the 1969 Copo Camaro in yellow, Muscle Mania series. Kind of like that Bumblebee style colouring, yellow with the black stripes, you get a Camaro on the side there. Blacked out wheels with the chrome trim. Uh, no headlight details, but the casting is pretty cool. And you get those black stripes plus the Camaro on the bonnet there. Nice grey interior. And uh, no rear details on the back there, but once again the car itself is just super cool. Super, super cool. And there's the card art for that there too. Next, we will go for another Matchbox. Yes, I've got one more Matchbox. <laughs> uh, this one here is the uh, NASA patrol car. NASA KSC security uh, patrol car. The Dodge Charger Pursuit. It's a really cool one. Oh yes, how cool is that? NASA security, that's pretty awesome. Never a straight answer, or not a single alien. <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, anyway, it's got the uh, white paint job with the blue and orange stripes. KSC security patrol. Emergency on the back there, little red marker light. Number eight there, it's got the hubcap wheels. Uh, indicator there. It's got the big push bar on the front. Uh, no headlight details, but still pretty cool. Pretty cool. You see the grill in there as well. Light bar on top. And uh, same livery on this side. So yeah, really, really nicely done. And uh, no rear light details either. It's been unfortunate, but that is really, really cool. Just being able to have a NASA patrol vehicle for my kind of like my NASA collection, which is. Really only contains a few vehicles, but yeah, still pretty nice. I'll put it with the Mars Rover or something like that. Next, we have the 1965 Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback. And this is kind of like a burgundy, metallic burgundy style color. Very nice looking car. Uh, this is also from the 2022 range. Muscle Mania series. Uh, no headlight details, but it does get the two stripes and one of my hairs. <laughs> that was just one of my head hairs. Don't worry, it wasn't anything suspicious. <laughs> yeah, how cool is this? A little pony on the side there. There's stripes there. Very nice looking car. Very nice car art. Next up, we'll just start going from this side. We'll have the 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth. This is now in red with gold wheels. And I think this is my favorite version of it now. That looks really, really cool. It's got all the same tampos on the side as the previous version. Lensed headlights. Or your, oh, this is a Hot Wheels, the 80s series. This is a new one. Yeah, new series. Cool, whole bunch of 80s cars. That'll be interesting to see. Oh uh, yeah, racing sponsors all over the top there with some uh, white racing stripes. Got that cool double wing style thing going on there. That looks really, really cool. And the card art for that is really awesome as well. Yeah, that's nice. That is actually really, really nice. Uh, we'll put this, well, I'll just put this guy down there. Kind of running out of places to put things. There we go. Next we have the Cruise Bruiser. This is from the Hot Wheels Wagon series. This is white, it's got that kind of like a wood panel effect on the side there like the real Vista Cruiser does. Gold five spoke wheels. Nice tempos along the side there. Number 22. 
I uh, can't quite read what that says on the front there. Uh, it's got a big, huge ram bar, push bar on the front. Uh, cut out grill and headlight style. That's awesome. Huge engine sticking out of the bonnet there. You've got your zoomies poking up there as well. Uh, roll caged interior in chrome. Pretty awesome. And it's got that big giant post in the back there, so I can't quite see what else is in the back. I think it's just a uh, kind of like a toolbox style checker plate panelling or something like that. And uh, no real light details or anything like that. But yeah, that is really awesome as well. Cruise Bruiser is actually a really cool casting, so if you don't have one in your collection, you should think about grabbing one just because they look really, really awesome. Next up, we have the new Corvette Grand Sport Roadster from the new 2023 range Roadster series. This is black, shiny black with the uh, yellow striping and the white number 30 and the Goodyear sponsorship there as well. Yellow five spoke wheels. Racing sponsors on the side there and uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Really cool casting. Uh, no rear light details or anything like that, which is really unfortunate. Got a very, very cool looking one. And there's the interior there. You can see the seat belts on the seats as well. Nice. Next, we have got, what have we got? Oh yes, the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. Very, very nice light blue color. This is from the Rally Champ series. That's a uh, very light metallic blue paint job. Uh, white five spoke wheels, Rally on the side of the number four. Uh, was that? White, kind of like a, a fluorescent green and blue striping and blue checkers on the back there. Very, very cool. Uh, spotlights on the front there, part of the interior piece. No headlight details. Very cool looking rally sponsorship livery on the front. Checkers on the roof. So cool. And uh, no rear light details, but still a very, very nice looking casting. Very nice. Next up we will go for... Oh, okay, yes, I think we'll just open this one here up. The 2017 Pagani Huara Roadster. Pearl white and gold, yes. All the details. Oh, that looks really, really cool. I have the headlight details. You get the black and, is that gold? Yes, black and gold striping on the center line, going all the way over the top. Roadster version with the no roof. Nice looking interior, has kind of like a race looking seat in there as well. Gold 10 spoke wheels. Crazy looking design on the side here. I love that paint job as well. That pearl white looks really, really nice. And around the back there, we get the uh, rear tail lights painted up there as well. Now uh, you get the Huayra autograph on the rear, little Hot Wheels sticker on the back. That is so nice. Yeah, so I'm a big, big, big fan of the Pagani Huayra. I reckon that looks absolutely awesome. And there's the base for that as well. That is nice. That's going to look really, really cool in the collection with all of the others. Maybe I can do an entire line of um, Pagani Huayras one day. That would look awesome. Uh, next up we have the 1972 Ford Gar Grand Torino Sport. Bright, bright orange paint job. Nice metallic orange paint job there. And on the side we get a white and gold stripe there. That is awesome. And it has Grand Torino, I believe, on the side of the fender there. Nice chrome five spoke wheels. Chrome interior. Uh, chrome grille and headlights and bumper by the looks of it. And the white stripes over the bonnet there look really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a gold pinstripe around the outside edge of those two white stripes there. That's really nice. And the back there, same once again, and you have the uh, rear in chrome also. 
such a cool looking car. Definitely, definitely a winner. I like that. That one looks absolutely awesome. Alright, there's only, oh there's still a whole bunch of cars. What am I talking about? <laughs> I could only see these two on the camera, so I was like, oh, we're almost out of cars. But no, I still got a whole bunch left. Uh, next up from Matchbox, we have the Citroen Amy. Uh, kind of like an electric vehicle, I do believe. I'm not entirely sure. If anybody has any information on the Citroen Ami, chuck it in the comments below. Let us all know. Wow, this is tiny. This is absolutely tiny. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, well, we'll get rid of the box. We don't really need that for the moment. That is so small. I'm going to do a, uh, a size comparison, just so you know. Oh, wow, it's actually smaller than the tuned Batmobile. So. A lot of you guys probably have already found one of these and at least seen it in a store. So you know how small this is. And this is smaller than it. Wow! That is tiny. This is probably one of the smallest vehicles that they have made. There we go. Took a while to get the focus. Uh, this appears to be a grey metal piece, kind of like a primer grey colour. Have the headlight details on the front there, Citroen on the center badge and license plate. Uh, this appears to be, I don't know, is that, no, there might, I don't know. <laughs> there could possibly be an interior inside this, but I do not know. Uh, it's got some pretty cool looking wheels, uh, orange chrome trim. I'm not entirely sure how the door works on this mirror just there. Such a crazy looking car. Another back uh, tail lights and some extra little lights just there. Maybe possibly the reverse lights. And this side looks exactly the same as the other side. So I'm not entirely sure if there's actually an interior. I can see somewhat through it but I can't quite work out whether there's an interior because it's so, so dark. Just a very, very, very dark window on that. <coughs> All right, we'll just move along. Let me just get this box out of the way now. All right, there we go. Last few cars. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, actually, yeah, this one's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, the Porsche 9. 11 GT3 in kind of a flat black. Uh, the grey wheels look really, really nice. From the factory fresh series, this one has the lensed headlights on there. Has the Porsche badge in the center, looking pretty cool. Yeah, that's really nicely done. It's got kind of like a carbon fiber panel style for the roof there. Although it is just a uh, bit of shinier black paint <laughs> than the rest of it. Uh, it's got the rear details on the back, which is really, really awesome. Nice red line for the light bar. Porsche on there. 911 GT3 on the license plate. A really cool casting, and it's always looks it always looks really, really nice in the Factory Fresh series. So yeah, very, very happy for that one as well. Uh, next, we have the new 2023 release of the Knight Rider kit concept vehicle. This one comes with an orange front light and a grey bottom half splitter stole going on there. I'm not entirely sure. Car. Oh, okay. No, okay. Now I know what's going on. Now I'm aware of what's going on. The previous version, which was just all black, with the red front was Kit. And now we have his Nemesis car. Oh, that is awesome. Aero disc wheels, orange piece coming out the back there for the orange light bar on the back. Very cool space age looking vehicle. That is actually, now that, now that I've noticed that, that's awesome. I thought it was, I actually thought it was just a re-release of it, just a different color variation, but that is awesome now that I know that it is the car. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That is very, very cool. I love Knight Rider. Like the original Knight Rider TV series was one of the best shows ever. Loved watching that. 
Now we have the then version from the then and now series. This is the 81 Camaro. And did I buy one of these? I feel like I've already bought one of these. I just can't remember now. Um, if anybody remembers, check it in the comments below. Um, either way, it's nice metallic green. Uh, no headlight details, but we do get that light green stripe going on there. Some pinstriping going on. And a little Chevy badge on the back there. You can see that green stripe going all the way around. Uh, wing on the back. Grey five-spoke wheels and a lot of racing sponsors. And there's also a green stripe running down the centre there. Yeah, very, very, very cool. And uh, no rear light details either. But very nice. Um, I think that I've already bought this one, but I can't be sure. I really can't remember now. Uh, last two cars. Uh, we'll do this one first and then we'll open up this one. So, yeah. Uh, this one here is the Ford Shelby GT350R from the Muscle Mania series. Very nice, light, metallic blue color. It's that uh, black grille in the front there. What was that? Silver and white stripes. Two stripes on the top there. A little bit of black paint on the rear. And we get the rear lights. Yes, that is awesome. I've mentioned it before. Uh, Mustangs are one of those vehicles that really need the rear lights to be on there at all times because it's such a such a prominent feature on a Mustang. You always know when a Mustang's driven by when you just see those lights. And all of the year models, you can always tell a Mustang just by the rear lights. So very, very nice. Yeah. I'm actually quite happy that the, that has the rear lights. It would have been nice if it had uh, the front headlights instead of the silly uh, racing stripe over the front there, but that's just my choice. Uh, now we have the 2006 Pontiac GTO, or as we all know, the Holder Monaro. Yes, such a cool looking car. This is from the Drag Strip series. Uh, there's the card art there. And these are always pretty hard to find here in Australia because all the Aussies know exactly what this car is. They know that it's not really a Pontiac. We all know that it's a Holden Monaro. Yes. Look at those twin nostrils on the front there sticking out of the bonnet. Uh, it's got the Pontiac grille and badge. Headlights are all painted up there as well. Yellow five spoke wheels. And it's got the uh, yellow stripe, the zigzaggy stripe with a little bit of silver pinstriping on the edge. Side exit exhaust. Racing sponsors, 06 Pontiac. Uh, wing on the back there. Kind of like a racing style interior. And on the back there we have a parachute where the license plate goes. Some wheelie bars and uh, no rear light details either. And the same livery on this side. Yes, very, very, very happy that I was able to pick up two of these at the same time. So we got to open one straight away. All right. Well, as you can see, there's uh, no more cars. There's no more cars here to pick up. So we're gonna have to go off to the side here. Um, actually, I think I might just... All right, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Uh, it's a Welly Vespa. Very, very awesome. We're just gonna open it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, this was $5.50 from the... Uh, I've already, I've already torn it. This is going to be a nightmare to get out. All right, there we go. All right, obviously we're not keeping the box now because it was stuck to the side. Uh, we'll just throw that out. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a welly. Uh, there's some sort of information there. There's a barcode there. These are available at Kmart for $5.50. If you want one, go pick one up. I mean, for $5, why not? Uh, this is the 2016 Vespa PX. That is awesome. Oh, the whole thing moves. That's really, really cool. Gets the little wheels. Nice details painted up there. The lights are painted. Uh, these are painted up there. Vespa gets a silver trim around the whole front piece. Lensed headlight. Silver brake levers. And what's that? Come on, focus. 
Yes, we actually get a speedometer. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, black paint for your feet guards. Black seat there. PX125. And on the back there, once again, we get some lights painted in there. And the rear brake light is also lensed uh, with a silver or a chrome trim bezel. That's really, really awesome. On this side, you can see the starter, the kickstarter there. And with the engine there. Uh, all your suspension and disc brakes there as well. This is actually really, really nicely done. There you go. The 2016 Vespa PX. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I was going to chuck that down there. It's got a little bit of glare, so uh, try and get rid of a bit of the glare. Actually, we can just move the camera up a fraction. There we go. Get rid of the glare. All right, last final item for the day is yes, at Big W, they are now stocking the muscle machines. This is really, really cool. Um, that's a sticker. Diecast, diecast model 12. Sorry, I'm curious now. Okay, there's nothing under it. It's just a sticker's been put over it. Uh, this is the muscle machine, 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser, display stand included. Pretty awesome. Uh, there was a whole bunch of these. Uh, well, there was there was a whole bunch of this one, and there was a whole bunch of the uh, uh, where is it? The Ford GT40. There was a whole bunch of those, and there was also must have been another range because there was also this vehicle that was also there. Um, yeah. Never seen these before, so we're going to just open it up. I thought that was actually stuck to the display stand, but nope, it's not stuck down. Get rid of this plastic, we don't need that. Um, yeah, comes with a display stand, Maisto. Oh, okay. Ah, I get ya. Aha, muscle machines. 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. I was wondering what that said, and it shows that you can actually flick it out. There we go. All right, there's the display stand. Let's make some room. Let's make some room. There we go. We'll leave that there, and in a second we'll pop that onto its display. Wow, this is enormous. Uh, does not appear to have any interior. That appears to just be a black piece of plastic for the windows. A giant engine with bug catcher. Sticking out of the bonnet there. You can even see it has a black belt on the supercharger. Nice chrome grill headlights. Has 442 on the front in the center. That's awesome. Big, huge Firestone wheels. Uh, skinnies on the front. Big, huge fatties on the back. Look at the chrome exhaust sticking out the side there. Nice gold trim on the side. Indicators, 442. Uh, silver paint around the windows, even has the window on the top there as well, plus these extra windows, and it also has the little roof rack. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Get that back to focus. There we go. Yeah, big huge wheels on the back there. Uh, brake lights are painted up. 442 on the tailgate, and a chrome rear bumper. That is such a cool looking vehicle, I have to say. And it's kind of like a cartoony style version of it, but I think that looks absolutely awesome. Uh, wrong way around. There we go. There's some information there as well, in case you guys wanted to know about that. Never seen these before, so yeah, had to pick that up. Oh wow, and that fits actually perfectly in there. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Yes. Uh, the light's not very good on it, but... That looks really cool. Uh, just move myself out of the way. <laughs> yep, sits in there really nicely. All right, guys, that's it for another week. I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm glad I was finally able to pick up some new stuff myself. Hopefully I'll be able to find more new stuff next week. Um, I was only really able to find just what you see here. It must have just been the one or the two cases of the new vehicles that had come in, the 2023 cars, these cars here, 2023, 2023. Uh, there's only a few of them in there so yeah very very happy that i was able to find a few of those fingers crossed for next week 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Next week, we're gonna have some JDM vehicles in the back there, just for something different. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be, uh, I think that'll be pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna stop, stop rambling on now. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. I'm gonna wish you all a fantastic week. And until next week, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all then. Bye, guys. <laughs>